Hello guys, welcome everyone for another vod. Today we're gonna be talking about the new map just got released today or yesterday. However, this map, it it's actually one of the biggest maps in World of Tanks. Let's get started and explore all everything, every single position, every single side on this map. So let's start with headies. As you see, there's an open field in the middle. There is an, like many mountains, something similar to mountain pass map, let's say. However, this area here is the heavy line. This is where all the heavies will be rolling and fighting. So from both sides, this is how it starts. From both sides, heavies will go this way. Can go this way, the short way. However, the brawl will be in these two positions, right here and right here, and possible could be right here too. So, from both sides, it's very similar to the same scenario. This way and this way. Now, uh, what you expect to see here? There are many angles on in this map, especially on the heavy line specifically. So you need to be careful about every single angle and where you're playing. If you play right here, you need to be careful from this angle here. And if you're playing right here, you need to be careful from this angle too. And if you are playing in the middle, I mean, you're not supposed to because you need to be watch out, watching out this angle here and plus the angle here. It's something similar to Abbey map pretty much. Same thing from the other side, these areas, mostly this line here in the middle, you will find the most super heavies and armored tanks, such as even tank destroyers armored, uh, like T3s, uh, Yak Panzers probably, and it's RT safe. Mostly it's RT safe right here, right here and right here, the most probably I would say open positions for the heavies to get rt and same thing for these areas here. However, if you are planning to play here or here from the outside, you need also to be careful from the open field right here. It's very tricky, I know, but playing over in these areas is really not recommended as I'm from what I saw uh, in my tests. However, if you plan to play outside here, just especially from this side, you need to be careful from these areas here and here. Same from the other side, you need to be careful from what's going on over here. So, let's see, show you an example. As you see, we are approaching the heavy line and we are trying to find the best position we can get depends on the situation. As you see, there's too many angles here. I need to be careful when you're side scraping or trying to brawl and every heavy. You need to watch your right, left. Again, many angles on this map, as you see. While I'm trying to brawl the left side, I just look and I watch my right side, and that's exactly what I mean about brawling on the heavy line. You need to watch your right, your left, and position yourself. You don't want to put yourself into crossfire or in the middle of every single angle. Let's talk about medium tanks. The medium tanks line on this map specifically is going to be around this area right here. The right side of the open field. That's where the medium tanks will exist or any tanks that has mobility. You're going to expect even heavy tanks to be there that has mobility. Not super heavies for sure, but the heavy like i 7s to 7s, any heavy tank that has mobility. You're going to expect them to be fighting on the medium line. So. The initial positions could be like this and you could go into these positions and you could take angles to the right side like this where are the rocks and there are some hold on positions in these areas over here same thing from the other side also now 
both sides similar balance but what you gonna expect to be <coughs> seeing over these positions number one is really open field for artillery that's one number two it doesn't mean you don't have any covers you do have some rocks you have some hold on positions you can be covering yourself from RT now what do I mean by this let's say you are playing this side and you turn to play just like passive playing passive is a good if there's a safe position here and there's a safe position right here pretty much you're gonna dodge some RT shots just need to be careful just like we said about the heavies here there's many angles same here there are many angles and you will notice that yourself so you need to be careful if you're committing right or you're committing left you need to be careful about right and left because there's crossfires positions could be putting yourself in trouble as you see we have a heavy tank with mobility we are heading to play the medium line why not because we have some speed I decided to take the left side instead of going right side just to see how these positions will work. I went a little bit more, a little bit aggressive and let's say way too far than I, I supposed to be but it's really good if you are, have enough mobility to take these positions you will deny the enemy from pushing the medium line and you will hold them where they at. Now remember you may get yellowed in so just be careful when you make a play like this. Especially aggressive play. Right here with a medium tank, I decided to go and take left side to see what kind of crossfire angles I'll get. As you see, we have some rocks here and cover, and we also have a great angle to have shots in the on the middle. Remember, every step I make, you need to be careful to watch your right, left, because there's many angles again, and you don't want to just cross and take in many hits and lose all your HP. Let's talk about tank destroyers or let's say sniper tanks in general, paper, medium tanks, that's let's say leopard one, a anything you want to snipe with in general, overall. Positions, on this map there are many positions, many pushes, many angles, you can be, you expect tank destroyers or snipers to be here, you expect them to be right here, you expect them to be right here, and as you see, every single position is allow them to have good angles towards the right side, middle, or even on the medium line. From the other side, same thing, it's gonna be around these areas, it's gonna be around the middle here, it's gonna be around the left side here, so the other side too. So these are like almost the f four initial positions for tank destroyers or sniper tanks gonna be one two three four one two three four what this ha what this give you is uh, it's gonna give you like a full counter to the off side like this this side like this and this side will give you counter towards the middle this side will give you counter towards the middle as well and here they will have counter here and counter over here towards the heavy line so these are the positions of tank destroyers or any sniper tank. This is the first initial position from this side for any sniper tanks or any tank destroyers. And here is the second initial position for tank destroyers or any sniper tank as well.
And right here you got the third initial position for the Tengus or his or his sniper tank game. Let's talk about light tanks. Light tanks from both sides they will place positions. Honestly, light tank is very hard to play. I found on this map specifically because I I don't know I'm I don't not I'm not a light tank player, but I just found out it's really hard to play. However, this area here there's a pushes, and from every side there's pushes also here, and there's pushes over here, and from every side also there's pushes over here. So pretty much that's type of initial positions for light tanks and light tanks could be also probably if they have enough of urine, which is I don't think so because this map is very huge can't place positions over here also over here. So most of the time a popular light tank position will be right here and right here and over here plus over here. However, I don't know where any ever light tanks position could be possible played, but I just found out Probably the most popular light tanks position will be here. Just be careful in these positions of light tanks, you will might find another light tank of enemy team right in front of you because the pushes are very close to each other, just the map how it is designed. Artillery, artillery pretty much spawn base if you're planning to target the heavies You're supposed to be like around the base over here and so you can shoot right here uh, If you are from the other side pretty much similar scenario if you turn up put the field or oh, sorry the city You place yourself right on the left side here or back left side out. I, I don't know. I'm not sure if this works, but uh so you can be able to shoot over here. Now, if you would like to shoot on the field, just, you know, you can move to the right side a little bit. And from here, back here to, you can, sorry, no. That's a mistake. From the right side back here, you can actually start targeting the field over here. So pretty much you will have shots over here to the field. And same scenario from the other side. Uh, that's how RT does. Now, what do what what are the tricks I have on this map? The tricks I found out like from this side. If you approach with fast tank or heavy fast tank, you approach this position right here, will deny the enemy from completely controlling this side, and you will make them stop over here and over here and here. So again, you might get yellowed. It just you know one of the plays I found out is useful. Uh, there's another trick I found out is if you try to approach the heavies immediately with initial position is 
going this way and going up and especially if you have a medium or not a medium tank but like a, a mobility tank uh same scenario from the other side it goes like this and up like this now is it safe is it recommended i do not think so but the reason why i say that is because of tank destroyers here and tank destroyers here can have shots over here and shots over here like this so yeah it's not very recommended now the other trick i found out from by the way the medium tank from both sides even the other side if you approach like to here you can control the medium line all of it and the enemy will be stopped here and here and here or here up however now the last trick i would say is if you are playing over here or over here you pretty much have shots towards the middle as well if the heavies will try to come up like this you will have shots from here towards them on the side same scenario if from here you can shoot towards the middle if heavies start to come this side like this and, and you have shots through the side very similar thing to like a uh, abby one to line uh, however that's all what i got for you guys i hope this was helpful for you to learn how to play the new map uh we tried to make it as short as possible but there's a huge map and big map and way many angles pushes and everything on it i'll see you guys next uh but if you like this please subscribe and check us out on twitch.tv slash german and it's called intelligence have a nice one and i'll see you next one